Hi, it's Kate, and I'm here with my mum, my dad, and my husband, and we all want to know what's, what's in, in the, the box? box. Hey, everyone. Well, today we're going to find out what's in the box. So, Spellbinders and the awesome Jean Davenport have sent me this gorgeous box of goodies. I don't know what's in there, but I'm about to find out. And this is what I've received. I cannot wait to get stuck in and see what's in there. So, so how quickly do you think I said yes when I got a text message from Jane saying, Hey Kate, you want to play with some of my new products? <gasps> yes, yes, yes I do. <laughs> I think I replied in about under three seconds. That might be the fastest reply text message I've sent in my entire life. And see what's in here. Well, that's cute. Oh, it's a spellbinder's tote bag. Oh, yum yum. So it turns out that it's not swat so much as what's in the box, but what's in the bag. Oh, this is Jane's beautiful new collection binder from Spellbinders. I'm gonna have to open it. Now this is made to fit all of her dyes and all of the yummy stencils and I think the stamps too if I understand right. So this is so pretty. I love the color. Oh okay that comes off. That's great. Yeah love the colors so beautiful and it's got a whole lot of little pouches for all Jane's little goodies I wonder if Spellbinders will be releasing more pouches just in case you know I might want to collect extras that's so cute so pretty okay what else is in here Ooh. I'm having a peek before you do. Okay, so in here I have. Oh, yum. Okay. Oh my goodness, there's gonna be. I'm gonna be playing with all of this for ages. All right, so I've got two of the little wooden stamps, and these are the first ones available from Jane's releases with Spellbinders, and I believe the acrylic stamps are coming soon. So this is a tin of glances, so it's all the little eyes. I'm going to have fun playing with this. That's so cute. Come on, aren't they gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? I just love these. And a little tin of mermaids. And that's so cute too. So it's got little mermaids. And I reckon that this little guy is going to be perfect for art journaling in my planner. Just something a little bit special. So some yummy stamps. Okay, let's all address the markers in the room. Now, I've seen Jane using these and these looked amazing. I can't wait to give them a test. So these are Jane's smooth markers and I believe they're alcohol. And look at the pretty colors. That's totally Jane. Aren't these mermaid colors? So cute. So I'm gonna give those a go. Not today. Today we're just gonna have a look. Ooh. I loved these the minute I saw Jane talking about these when she was first talking about her uh, collaboration with Spellbinders and I'm desperately hoping that the unicorn die is in here. I'm just putting that out there to the universe. Let's see. Okay. I've got some of the beautiful feathers. I can't wait to see how these look with some artwork behind them. Jane's gorgeous face. I think this one's called Muse and it's just lovely. Uh, the little dancing girl and it just says ta-da hey the unicorn <laughs> isn't he cute um i can't wait to give this a play it's just so fun and whimsical it's just it seems like something i'd like to be able to use oh 
Oh, and some stars and hearts. And it says you are unique. I can totally see myself using that. And aren't these beautiful? Look at these gorgeous. See if I can get that up close here. These are the most gorgeous little flowers. And I can see so many uses for this. This is going to be amazing. Probably very well used. Um, eye candy. That is so cute. So you've got an eye and then the wood candy. Love it. Um, a little journaling or planning template. Well, you could just use it as a flower, really. So many ways you can use these gorgeous things. We were mermaid for each other. <laughs> Yep, that totally screams Jane to me. I love the little scales. That is really gorgeous. And the mermaid tail. Um, and the little shell and starfish. Yep, I'm going to have so much fun with these. The colorist stickers. Now, I saw Jane using these. I have to open them to show you. And she was coloring them with her alcohol markers. And they looked amazing. So, it's sort of semi it's not quite gloss paper, but it's certainly not matte. So I'd say it's a semi-gloss or super smooth. And you've got these beautiful foiled features on each sticker. And it looks like, oh, there's two of that one. And then there's this beautiful little narwhal in silver foil. There's two of that one. And these gorgeous pinks. I love those. Pink foil. So pretty. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I've got two of each seat sheet so I don't need to hoard that's probably lucky with me because I tend to like keep things so loving Jane's self-coloring little stickers here so these are Jane's colorist stickers and they're meant for you to color in rather than buying something pre-made so you can make them any color you like and basically coordinate them with any project I love that about these okay there's still more stuff in here I am so Super, super excited and feeling a little bit spoiled and loving it. Okay, face stencils. I think I can see a beautiful face in the background here of the stencil, so I think that's what it is. And it is! Okay, so you've got this larger face here with the flower, the little head with the barn and another flower, and then the front on face with two more flowers. That is so, so pretty. And I think these fit in the binder. Um, I'll give that a test in a second. And yes, I see another face in the background here. So I'm thinking more face stencils. And they are. So we've got a side on face, which is one of the ones that's tricky to get the proportions right. So I love using stencils and I can't wait to use this. One of Jane's beautiful, long necked, gorgeous fashion faces. And this cutie pie that's sort of half turned sideways with the neck coming down. I'm really looking forward to using this. So, yay! <laughs> Washi to. Oh! Okay, this is the washi sheets. I saw Jane using these. <gasps> Love! And I can't wait to give this a go. So, just in case you haven't seen Jane's video, go and watch it, mind you. Well worth it. In here, we have a couple of sheets that are all washi tape. So this is this whole thing, it's not cut out. It's a giant piece of washi tape. So you can use it just like you would any other washi. So you can stick the entire thing on a cover and have like instant cover art, or you can cut the individual pieces out and use them as you would washi tape. But it's got so many things you can do with it. And of course, there are two, oh, no, I lie. There are four sheets in each packet, two of each. So you don't need to hoard it. Oh, look at the colors on that. That is so beautiful. That is like amazing, amazing, gorgeous rainbow color. My kind of thing. So, oh, oh my, wow. Okay, I'm going to have to have a play here. I really am going to have to just have to get stuck in. And the mermaid sheets. And on here, there's this beautiful squid girl and some little squids. You can make your own women if you'd like, or mermies. And undersea flowers. And that I can totally see coordinating with... This, I don't know if it's exactly the same inch, but it's looking pretty close. I reckon it might be. So you could have little die cuts sitting on top here and use this as the background, all sorts of things. Oh my goodness, I have just been so spoiled. I am just blown away, Jane. I am so blown away, Jane and Spellbinders. Thank you so, so much. I am really excited to start having a play with these and I can't wait. So let me just check one thing before I go make sure these actually fit in here i think they do i might be wrong so 
sometimes I'm wrong. That goes in there just perfect. Oop, and there's another one. Oh yeah, that's gonna make them really easy to use. I can slide that in there so I can see what I've got. Oh, oh, and then I can put these in here. And you can keep everything all together. I'm gonna love this. And there's even a little clip. So you could clip it in there so you don't have it wiggling around. Okay, awesome, awesome. Spellbinders and chain, you have totally spoiled me and I cannot wait to get my hands on some of this stuff. I really love this collection from the stencils and the beautiful colorist stickers, the little stamps, these alcohol markers in Jane's favorite colors, and of course, die cuts from heaven. So many die cuts from heaven. I'm just loving them all. So I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for letting me play with all of these. Right now I feel like one of the luckiest people in the whole world and I cannot wait to give this a go. So I'm off and I'm gonna go play. So if you would like to see what I do with this amazing supply stash from Jane and Spellbinders, you might like to follow my Instagram and YouTube as well so you don't miss a thing. And of course, follow Jane and Spellbinders as well because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be previewing some awesome ideas with all of these amazing goodies. So thank you Jane and Spellbinders. I can't wait to have a play with these.